Hi everyone, welcome back to another Elite Dangerous video. In this one, I am going to show you how I set up my Toby Eye Tracker 5 for Elite Dangerous Odyssey. And today's date is July 22nd, 2023. I've been using Toby 5 for Star Citizen for a while, and that experience is enhanced greatly. But as a new Elite Dangerous player, I just find out that we can use Toby 5 for Elite Dangerous as well. And uh, I've been searching for some proper tutorial, but I couldn't find the most recent recent ones so i am making one myself both for you and for me so here is how i set it up first of all you need the toby eye tracker 5 buy one borrow one steal one doesn't matter you're gonna have to have one and set it up in the proper position on the bottom or top of your monitor or whatever place that is best for you then go to Toby Eye Tracker official website and find downloads and click downloads. Choose Toby Eye Tracking and choose your device, Toby Eye Tracker 5, and then click download driver. Once you install the eye tracker, just follow your screen to do the calibration. It should be automatic. So just look at these dots as they pop. Okay, and then enter your profile name. There are two more things that you can download. This one is Toby Ghost, which is for streamers. I am not a streamer yet, so I don't need this one. But this one, Toby Game Hub, it's a 3.0.1 version right now. So go ahead and download this one in order to set up the games for your Elite Dangerous. Once you're in the Game Hub, you can see over here, these are your installed games. The You can click this folder over here. For example, Elite Dangerous. If you installed Elite Dangerous on Steam, so you go to your Steam library, which I installed on my SSD drive. So Steam library, go to Steam apps, common, and you can find all your installed games over here. So find Elite Dangerous, click it, and then find products. And then you can see Elite Dangerous Odyssey, and then just click this one. So click open. There we go. So now it's linked to your game in your computer. And this is about the game. And then you can uh, do settings. So of course you need to enable Toby first. And uh, the profile doesn't matter unless you need to use different profiles. Here the rest are the settings. So I'm not gonna go into details for it. I'm still playing around with it. But one thing I found that is uh, very annoying and I, I did the setting so I will show you what it is. So let me open the game first. So make sure it's a proper game. So Elite Dangerous Odyssey. And I'm gonna set everything to default. Once you change your setting, you have to click save to profile so that your game will react to it. Where is my game? So Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Okay, game is open. You can see my Toby Eye Tracker is working right now. Oh, by the way, if in the beginning, after you did all the setting, you installed all the driver, everything, and then your game is not responding to your Toby Eye Tracker, go ahead and close out the game. I did twice. Close out the game, restart, even restart your computer after you did all the install the software driver everything so do a restart of your computer at least a restart of your game after that my toby eye truck automatically works i was looking at the options for enable toby eye tracker as far as i can tell i couldn't find any controls or here ship controls or general controls there's no way you can enable your toby eye tracker through here so the only way is uh enable toby eye tracker through the toby eye tracker app and then restart your game. So that's a very important point that I just find out after trials and error. First two keybind is very important, which is at the bottom actually, enable or disable key. So this one key will enable or disable your Toby eye tracker in game and also reset head tracking key. If I want to enable eye tracker, I can just simply hit one button that I set. And then you can see the Toby eye tracker is working right now and i hit again if i don't want to see it sometimes make you dizzy depends on the person so one key enable it and hit again to disable it and the other key is sometimes you will lose the center of your screen so you set that center eye tracker key you hit it you go back to the center of your screen which is very important and very useful as well so this one over here Another thing that I found very annoying, I just find out, is when you're using Toby Eye Tracker, sometimes 
you think you're looking at the center of your screen, but your view is actually quite low on the bottom of your ship. You can see your feet and you can see all the, uh, the equipment on your ship. I don't want that. I have to hit the recenter every time and then it always take me back to the bottom view of my ship i don't like that at all so i go back to game hub so limit over here you can actually limit how you view but i am going to because i need to look at top of the ship so i'm gonna set the limit very high on top but you can see here pitch mirror so this is the pitch i for the yaw, for the yaw, you want to look at the left and you want to look at the right to like very wide, almost 90 degrees over here. I don't know if some ship has the window to the back or not, if I can look at the back. Let me see this one, if it's same to profile. Oh, I can even look at the back of my ship. It's really nice. You want to check the screen over there at the Lacey and check the back of, if I have a co-pilot, I want to look at his or her status. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna leave like that. But for the pitch, it's quite annoying. Because uh, let me save to profile. If you do this, you can you always see the bottom of your ship. I really don't like that. I just want to focus my view on the center and top. So over here, just uh, click pitch mirror. And then drag this pitch to maybe 15 degrees. Some, around 15 degrees, yeah. Oh, there we go. So I don't see as much as before but uh, i still see a little bit so move it to seven degrees seven eight degrees let's see oh yeah this is much better so you can focus your view over there but you can still see something over here just for the immersion of it control features head rotation okay so i guess there is a sensitivity and a curve i'm gonna increase the curve a little bit oh this is y'all and then pitch especially pitch i want to see top more sensitive over here pitch actually for this head rotation i need to drive the bottom pitch to about seven or eight degrees i'd say to profile and let's see oh yeah now i don't even see as much the bottom of the ship very much so that's good give me a better control especially doing combat because i really want to reach that uh, elite dangerous combat level so I'll be doing a lot of combat with this. And a lot of explorations. It's really, really immersive with this Toby Eye Tracker. So this is it for the Toby Eye Tracker. And there are so many other settings. I just downloaded this like half an hour ago. I need to play around with it. If you're new to this as well, play around with these settings. There are so many other settings. Like I don't know what this is. So if you are a seasoned player and uh, you have some uh, advanced tips for Toby Eye Tracker settings, feel free to leave in the comments below. Much appreciated. Oh, one last thing is you can see enable to track game window is because, don't worry about this, is because right now you're not in game window. Once you go back to the game, it will automatically track it.